Hey, this is Carrie with a quick little honest unboxing and video review for the Nyaf Tumblr. I have three uh, colors in my hand that I have yet to unbox, so I'm going to show you, test them out, and then share my opinion. Let's get started. The Nyaf Tumblr, as far as I know, is a double walled vacuum sealed tumbler. And so it's supposed to keep hot liquids hot for six hours. And it's supposed to keep cold liquids cold for 12 hours, I think. This one is, I think I thought it was supposed to be marbly. I got some color options to pick from and I chose my favorite three. Um, the texture of it actually looks more like a wood grain because there's almost like um, fingerprint patterns, like a grain pattern from the wood. But this, I think, is their white and black marble. And then it has the Nyad um, logo here, which is actually not just printed on, but it's like etched into the surface. You can feel it, which is pretty cool. And the top of this looks super cool. It has a plastic top with a metal insert. Nice, that's a really nice seal for sure. It feels like it'll be definitely leak proof. And then a little plastic clip down to keep it sealed. So that's one. This next one, ooh, that's pretty. This is like a lavenderish pink. The pink on top doesn't quite match the pink on the sides, which isn't ideal in my opinion, but um, that's pretty cool. It also has some information on the bottom, like um, it's BPA free, which I would assume most things are, but it's really important to clarify. And in case you're concerned about the size, it is 22 fluid ounces. So that is seriously large. And the third color. Oh, and I haven't pointed out the straw yet. It comes with a straw, so you can use it with the straw or without. And how do I open this? It also comes with a brush cleaner, which is super nice. And this top of the straw can have this little silicone. There we go, cover on it, so you can use that as well. And they match the color of the bottles. All right, and here's the last one. This one's like a teal color. So you can just slide the straw in there to use it as a straw, or you can take it out and just use it to sip as such. And I really do love that the color of the teal blue matches the whole way across on all three pieces, unlike the pink where they're a little bit different in color. Not the end of the world, but a little bit of a detail. So I'm gonna test these out for the next couple of days. I'm especially gonna see how long the hot liquid stay hot. Um, and if it is leak proof, which I'm gonna assume it is from how seriously substantial this lid feels. I love the feel of that. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna test it and I'll let you know what I think in a few. I'm back. So after testing out the products, I have a few things to share. First of all, the style is still as lovely as I thought it was when I got it out of the box. My two personal favorites are the teal and this white marbly woody design. I still don't love that the pinks don't match. That's so kind of like a little annoying to me. It's not the end of the world, like I said, but definitely these two are my favorites and I really like um, that it's white accents with this like marbly one. Um, so they aren't gray or black or anything else. The white really stands out and looks super nice. Um, right now I have this filled with steaming or boiling, I guess is the right word, boiling hot water. I poured in boiling hot water just to show you I can completely hold on to this. You really can't feel the heat through it pretty much at all. It's like barely warm, which is kind of proof to me that the double walled um, vacuum insulation thing, the design of this with the stainless steel is really, really well done. Um, and when you can't feel through it on the outside, that is kind of proof that it's keeping the heat inside. The top is pretty warm. Um, I can clearly have my hand on it and I just poured boiling water in here. So it's not super duper escaping, but when the heat does escape, it's coming out of the top with this plastic part because that's not the double wall insulation. Uh, after testing this, I kept her 100% honest accident 
forgot my tea in the car. So I left it in the car for about four hours and then when I came back, it was in the Nyad. It was in this one, actually. And it was still warm. It definitely wasn't hot anymore, but um, after four hours, it was still warm, it was still drinkable. If it was in a different container, it probably wouldn't have been that warm. So saying six hours was a little bit of a stretch when I tested it out, but um, it was still definitely warm. And I think that most of the heat just escaped out of the top with the plastic top. So the one thing that does not super well work for me is the lid closure where you can drink out of it or insert your straw if you so choose. Um, it doesn't really click into place like it does. It made a little bit of a sound and I'm like, I can push all the way down, but it still kind of gives a little bit. Like it really doesn't click into place and this is true for all of them. And so if I just click it casually, like I think it's closed, um, it, oh shoot. Okay, I didn't mean to do that, spray water all over my floor. Um, that just like flew straight out of the release, what's that called, air valve? There's like a dot um, opening that is for air, I assume, that just sprayed across my floor. What I had experienced previously was that it actually leaked out of here. Um, so either way, I would not call that leak proof to just show that right there. Um, it just like pours straight out of the hole. It's really hot, holy crap. Um, it just pours straight out of the hole. So definitely not leak proof. Do not assume that you can just toss this in your gym bag and it's not gonna leak everywhere. Um, I'm not sure how they think it's leak proof with this open hole, but I don't know. So not leak proof, yes to the cold for 12 hours mostly yes to the hot for four hours in my case. Um, and overall, the style is fantastic. So again, this is Nyad. I have three of their colors here. This is the teal, this is the white, this is the pink. I had no problems cleaning the brush or cleaning the straw with the brush that comes included with it, which is super handy. Um, and overall, I'm definitely looking forward to continuing to use it, just definitely not in a leak-proof capacity. So I highly recommend that you check it out for yourself.